Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to secure uh, two different types of chest tubes, a pigtail catheter and then a large bore chest tube. This is a 24 French. Um, I haven't seen too many videos that show you how to do both in the same, so hopefully this will be a good resource for you guys. And first, I wanted to touch up after you secure your pigtail catheter and you've got your attachment here, um, you can actually uh, insert approximately 20 cc's of bupivacaine, 0.25%, um, into the pleural space uh, through the pigtail to block some of those nerves and to decrease pain. We've all had the pigtails that you insert and it just becomes very uncomfortable for the patient. You can do systemic analgesia such as fentanyl or morphine in that scenario, but uh, a more effective way would be to insert bupivacaine. Uh, and then after you do that, make sure you close off the seal so that the liquid cannot come right back out. And you would just leave it in there for five to 10 minutes before you reopen it back up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's get started. Okay, so I've got my pigtail catheter in place. I've got some suture here, and we are going to secure this pigtail to the skin, make sure it does not come out. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanted to make sure I anesthetized a really big wheel around the pigtail to begin with. So therefore, when I put this stitch in, it's not gonna cause the patient any pain. So I've got my needle driver here and I'm gonna create a really big bite because I want this to be a secure stitch for this pigtail. So I put a decent bite. I want to get my string about halfway through and we're about there. And now what I'm going to do is just discard this needle. We don't need it anymore. So I got rid of the needle there. And now we're just left with two pieces of string. So what we want to do for this first knot is we want to create a little slip knot. Um, so what we can do is put our hemostat down it's actually going to be an air knot, but we're going to tie it like a slip knot. There are many different ways to, uh, you know, we got a two hand tie, a one hand tie, and there's plenty of videos on that. So I'm just going to do the same motion for both. And I'm doing the same motion for both so that I can cinch down and make this knot as tight as I want. If I did a square knot, I wouldn't be able to do that. So now that I've got this down to the level that I want, I'm then going to secure it like I would any other knot and create a square knot here. Okay, so got my first knot in place. Now, I am very anti-purse string. It's very confusing. That's where you go wrap under a couple of times, then you wrap over, and then under, under, and then you'd start tying this off. Um, I find it to be confusing, and there's a much better way to go about this. I create L knots, and you do it on one side at a time. So this is like the left side, this is the right side. So we're gonna focus on this left side. On this left side, I'm gonna create a little L knot. All I'm doing is putting the suture through there. Doing another one. We're gonna do three passes on each side, just stacking these strings on top of each other. All right, so there's my left side. Look how secure that is. I didn't even really tie anything off yet. And now it's the exact opposite on this side. So I just pulled from this side. On my right side now, i do one. And I wanna make sure these loops don't start like stacking on top of each other. They're just kind of laying in a orderly manner. There's another one. And here's our final one here. Well, look how much more simple this configuration is. And look how secure that is too. So now, 
I can just tie this off like I would any other knot. And do a few throws there and my final one here. And boom, so I've got a nice little air knot here that's not gonna cause any necrosis of the skin and look how secure this is with no Roman sandal technique. So that is how you secure a pigtail catheter that's not going anywhere. Okay, moving on to the large bore chest tube, our 24 French here. We're gonna do what's called a Soweto tie. It's called a Soweto tie because there is a city in South Africa that has a high crime rate and there they did this type of tie and then coined it a Soweto tie at that point. So that's where the name comes from. So we've got our large bore here. We're gonna, we're gonna create our bite and we're gonna do kind of a horizontal mattress around around the chest tube here. Come out the other end here. Okay, like so. And this suture string isn't gonna be very long, so this is gonna be somewhat challenging. Okay, so now we've got horizontal mattress that wraps around this tube. Once again, we're gonna get rid of our needle here. So that is cut off, and now we're left with these two ends here. I'm gonna line those up, straighten this out. Now I could either make a single knot, and I wanna make it about right in the middle. I could either just do a regular tie and stop there, or I could be a little fancy and just kinda of make a single knot. like so. All right, so we've got our knot right here. And what we're gonna do now is we are just gonna start wrapping this knot at the base of the tube and just wrap that around until our knot loops around. So we've got multiple loops in place. We've still got our string here. You wanna get that as close as possible to the base of the tube. Anytime the tube is able to be dislodged um, and then goes back in, you're then creating bacteria into the uh, pleural cavity, which can cause an empyema. Uh, so now we've got the two ends of our string here. We can just Grab a hold of that, and now we're gonna slide it underneath. That string here. So now, when we come back, we've created this anchor of our knot. And when we pull this way, it's kind of creating more tension here, and it's just a really nice, secure knot. And now what we can do with this, look, now we're back in our L mode here again. So we could do a couple L's. To secure this this way. Number three L's for each side. Now we're just gonna move on to the right side. Now we've got this and we can just do our simple little tie to finish it off here. Running out of string. All right, there we go. This guy's not going anywhere. Super secure. And the beauty of this guy is when it's all said and done. And normally from the emergency room, we're not really 
undoing our chest tubes, but we can start cutting away if we needed to remove all this. We're removing all this. Slide the chest tube out. And now, here, and you see what we're left with. Now you'd have a, a pretty decent sized cut here. And all you can do at this point, if you have enough string and you can create a tie and just close off your chest tube and not have to suture any more into the skin. Um, so the really nice thing about the Soweto tie is um, once you do the suture material the first time, you can actually use that same material to close off the wound. But that is a Soweto tie and that is how you secure a large bore chest tube. We've learned the L ties on each side. We did not do any Roman sandal strings. So hopefully you guys are confident now to secure both types. Uh, consistently and hopefully this video makes you guys better PAs and better clinicians as we're always striving to get better. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and stay tuned for more.